you harm yourself with the labels that you create. Um, anything that you say that you can't do, you are absolutely right. And there's nothing that anybody else can say or do that will change your mind about it. You will even have a hard time changing your own mind about it. You say, um, I can't eat right. No matter what I do, I can't eat right. You're right. You are absolutely right. Do you want to be right about that? Maybe you should be a little bit more flexible. I always say, don't say can't. Like can't in my house is a bad word. If you say can't, you have already handicapped yourself, crippled yourself for opportunity. You know how they say never say never? That is so true. Because you never know what circumstance will occur in your life where you may have to consider a decision that you may not have made when that circumstance did not arise. So the word can't is a word that blocks you and stops you from any growth at all. I, I can't breastfeed my child. You know... Sometimes people have medical conditions that don't allow them to do, to do that. You know, they have to take certain medications and things like that that, uh, that affects their ability to breastfeed. But that doesn't mean that that's the only way that child can get breast milk. So maybe you have to think outside of yourself. Maybe you can't breastfeed your child yourself. Maybe the issue is... Um, not being able to latch for whatever reason. So then pump the milk and give the baby the milk but another way. You know, I'm using that example because that's an example that I hear at work a lot. You know, with young moms or uh, first time moms. Uh, they don't want to breastfeed their kids sometimes because they don't know how. But anything in life is like that. If you don't know how to do it, then you seek the knowledge. Don't say you can't. You know, look for other ways. Become creative. That's when you need to become creative instead of damning yourself to not ever being able to do something or not being able to achieve something. 